Leaders inside the Seattle Office of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, they are speaking out tonight against the city and state sanctuary city police. This comes after a Mexican citizen in the country illegally was arrested by Seattle police and charged with murder. Kick 5 Sebastian Robertson is live in studio with our story. Sebastian. Yeah, this afternoon I spoke with ICE Deputy Field Office Director. He tells me that had King County and ICE had a working relationship, he believes that one of these most recent murders would not have happened. A claim that we've heard before. And had they simply given us a phone call and had King County done that on either of these occasions, this individual would have been in ICE custody going through immigration deportation proceedings and he would not have been on the street uh, able to, you know, cheat them. November 3rd, a man is shot and killed while sleeping in a Seattle home. The home that was struck was not the intended target. Seattle police arrest Julio Cruz Velasquez, an undocumented immigrant with a long criminal history. ICE claims that law enforcement failed to contact them on six separate occasions. A lack of cooperation between ICE and local law enforcement is what ICE is publicly speaking out about. In September, they invited our cameras for an unprecedented tour into this detention facility in Tacoma. I got to tell you, officer to officer, we'd all just like to do our jobs and go home to our families, but politics to get in the way, and so then it creates some of that friction, and, and that's what's unfortunate too. Mm -hmm. Okay. This isn't the first murder ICE mentions in its defense. The agency also points to the arrest of Carlos Daniel Carrillo Lopez for his role in a Bellevue homicide and to a man named Carlos Orlando Irajeta Vega, accused of killing and dismembering a 16-year-old boy in Auburn. In a written statement, King County Executive Dow Constantine says they'll hold a suspect if ICE provides a, quote, valid criminal warrant, adding that, as a county, we will continue to honor the Constitution rather than the extrajudicial orders of any person, including the president. The King County Executive also says that those so-called immigration detainers are prohibited by county policy. He calls this most recent move by ICE a public relations offensive. And it seems for now, no surprise here, that both agencies will continue to work independent of each other. Back to you.